welcome to our next video. This video, we're going to take a look at the web version of Outlook. So go to Outlook.com and log in if you need to. And so I'm going to click on sign in. If you had logged in recently, then it will automatically log you in. So here it's logging into someone else's account, not the one that I want to log in to. So I'm going to click on this little person icon here and click sign out. It's very important that when you walk away from a computer, that you make sure you sign out of that account. Otherwise, when someone else opens up the window, like I just did, you would log into, or someone else could log into your account, which you don't want. So I signed out of that person's account, and now I am going to do that. Type in your full email address. And only click that sign in box if you are the only one that uses that computer. Now, this is the web version of Outlook. As you can see, there's a lot of similarities, but there's also a lot of differences. If you are on your desktop computer or laptop computer that you plan on using frequently, then download the actual application like we showed you in a separate video and log and use that application. There's a lot more options with the full version installed version versus the web version. This should be used only when you need to check your email from another account or a public computer. Then it's a great to know that there's a way to log in and check it out. But there are limited features in the web version. We still have our folder pane here on the left, our inbox pane in the middle, and then our reading pane on the right. We can grab these bars and do some adjustments. And this is an ad. This is a free application, so they got to pay for it somehow, right? So they are advertising from the right hand side. In order to change the look and feel, just click this little gear, and this opens up the various setting options. You can turn on automatic replies. So if you were out of the office, you can have it automatically send an email to people that try to email you. You can change your display setting. Manage integrations with other applications. And then connected accounts. This is where I told you there's a way to have your emails that go to this account be forwarded to, for example, a Yahoo account. You can do that here. You can manage your offline settings and then change theme so that, for example, I have these hearts and clouds. If you wanted to, you can go through and select a different theme. So this would be like Legos. And just click OK and it will apply it. And then finally, there's a lot more options. If you select the options uh, tab, the, uh, out of the gear tab, select the options from the menu, then you can see all these additional features that you can also modify or, or review. So yes, it is the web version. It is simplified, but there's still a lot of options. So like email signature, link preview, message format. So Take a look at these options and modify as you see fit. But again, you should be using the desktop version for a majority of your email transactions. On the left-hand side, there's this little what looks like checkerboard. We click on it, then it gives us links to all the other applications. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, these are all the web versions. Once more, that means they work online without anything installed, which is great, but just remember limited capability compared to the full-fledged version installed on the computer. And that's it for the web version. I hope you found this useful, and I look forward to working with you on other lessons in the future.